Right, in this video we're going to look at a trapezium. A trapezium is a shape that has two parallel sides and a height. And we're going to use a little bit of trigonometry on it and then we're going to finally calculate the area at the end. So it says calculate the length AD, which is this length here. So to do that, we're going to consider this triangle here. We're going to call this point here M. So we're going to consider this red triangle here. Drawing it out, this is 1.6 centimetres, this is 4.6 metres. We're missing this side. So this is an application of Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem says that AD squared is equal to DM squared plus MA squared. So AD squared is going to be equal to 1.6 squared plus 4.6 squared, which is equal to 2.56, 21.16. Added together, that gives me 23.72. That's AD squared. I want to find AD, so I need to take the square root of that, which gives me 4.8703, which is 4.87 centimetres, correct, to three significant figures. Now we need to calculate the size of angle BCD, which is at BCD, that's that angle there. So it's going to be this angle here. Now to do that, I'm going to make this triangle here, call this point N. So I've got this length here, and this length here, and this length here. So I'm going to consider that triangle. That's the angle I need to find. I know this is 4.6 metres. Uh, what I need to do is calculate this length here with all the information I have. But I have all of the length, and I know uh, that length, and I know that length. So that should allow me to find the length NC. So NC will be 12 minus the 7 and minus the 1.6, which gives me 3.4 centimetres. Now drawing out that triangle. So this is 3.4 centimetres, this is 4.6 centimetres. And labelling the sides, adjacent, opposite, and angle. So Sokotoa again, I've got opposite, adjacent, so I'm going to use TOA. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So tan theta is going to be 3.4 over 4.6. Sorry, I need to correct myself. It's opposite over adjacent, so it's 4.6 over 3.4. So theta will be tan to the minus 1 of 4.6 over 3.4. We want to find the angle. So it's inverse tan on our calculator. That gives an angle of 53.53 degrees, which is 53.5 degrees. Now, in the last part, we need to find the area. So in order to find the area, we know to need to know the this call this side A and call all of this side B. And we've got the vertical height between them. And so the area of a trapezium is going to be A plus B times H divided by 2. So A will be 7 plus B, which is 12, times the height, which is 4.6, divided by 2. So that gives 19 times 4.6 divided by 2, which gives an area of 43.7 centimetres squared. OK, so be very careful with opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. OK, so there's been a video using trigonometry on a trapezium to find some angles and a length and also then to find the area of a trapezium. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.